You want to add color swatches onto your Shopify store? Well then this video is perfect for you. I will show you how to go from something like this, where you are just going to have normal variants like brown and green, to something like this, where you can then actually successfully select any kind of color using color swatches right inside Shopify. Now generally this is a super easy tutorial, but please make sure to actually watch it till the end, otherwise you can't really set this up, because this is going to be step by step. So if you are going to miss one step of the whole way, you can't really successfully use this on your store. Either way, to get started, head over to your Shopify dashboard. Now, if you don't already have a Shopify store, I will leave you a link to a free trial to Shopify in the description down below. Now, the link down below grants you with the best deal out there right now, which right now gets you a Shopify free trial for three months, I think. So make sure to take advantage of that. Either way, once we are right here, make sure to head over to online store and then open up the theme editor right here on the right. It is also important to notice that you will actually have to keep in mind what kind of theme you are using. I think this method which I'm going to show you is going to work for every theme out there, but still make sure to actually keep in mind what the name of your theme is. Now, of course, when we are now going to head over to the products tab right here, um, this isn't actually going to give us an option to add a color swatch, but I'm going to show you how to actually replace this. So to do so, head over to the My Store tab, and then we will have to head over to Settings on the bottom left. By now navigating to Apps and Sales Channels, you can then open up the Shopify App Store. Now, as frequent viewers actually know, I'm usually not that big of a fan of adding tons of different apps onto your Shopify store, as it can actually decrease the overall loading speed of your store, which can then result into lower conversions and so on. With that being said, I did my research and I actually found an app which is super lightweight and which isn't going to uh, basically hurt your loading speed at all. So when now actually looking for color swatch, you can basically see that there are hundreds of different apps out there, 306 different results, and you can use all of them, but once again, the most lightweight app and also my favorite is going to be Glow Color Swatch. I'm not affiliated with I'm not affiliated with them whatsoever. I'm not partnered with them. I just generally have to say that I do like their app. And the big upside of this as well is that they do have a free plan for up to 100 products with the color swatch option right here. So make sure to install this. You can of course also view the demo store of this or of any other of the uh, other apps out there to basically get an overview of what this app is capable of. But I'm just going to continue installing this onto my store. So I'm just going to click on install right here. <coughs> and as you can see, we're then going to have the option to either use the free one, the silver one or the gold one. And you're then actually also going to get a free trial for these ones right here. So let's just go with the free trial, but the free one is going to work just as fine. But if you would want to test this out, you would simply just have to approve the subscription right here, and you can then actually start your free trial. This is going to be just $100 every year, so really not, not costly at all, and this could be something which you could actually use on your store. As for the app embed, in this case I'm going to select the Dawn theme. However, if you are going to have multiple different themes available, make sure to select the theme where you do actually want to add this onto. That's why I've actually told you earlier to basically keep your theme name in mind. I'm going to select Dawn and I'm then going to click on go to theme editor. Then on the left, this is going to give us an option to actually app embed to basically integrate this app onto our Shopify store. Now, what a lot of people actually get wrong, they think they are now done with this page and with this step, but actually to enable this right here, make sure to save your store on the top right. Otherwise you can't go along and otherwise you can't follow the next steps. So make sure to now head back to Shopify. Now, as for the options, we do have color and size. This is going to affect one product as of right now. We can then actually basically select the type of our swatch. We can use swatch, pill swatch, automated swatch, button, button with a border, with button, image switch with price, custom swatch with price, and basically a whole lot of other options as well. I'm going to go with the default normal swatch option. So I'm just going to select it. As for the show and collection thing, I'm not going to do that. We can then actually also configure this right here. So we can actually select, okay, this is going to be brown and this is going to be green. We can then see the preview of how this is going to look like live on our store on the left. So make sure to actually get started with this. I'm going to add a color and actually I'm going to head back to my store. 
and let's now actually view our product. So let's actually open this up. And I do want to add a product which uh, I do want to add a color which is going to represent the colors of this really well. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to actually open up color picker chrome. <coughs> and I'm going to install the color syllab uh, picker right here. I'm going to add this onto Chrome and I'm now going to pin this as well. Now we're now heading back to running and to this example, I'm just going to pick the color from the page and I'm going to use this color and I'm then going to head back to our setup and I'm simply just going to insert the hex code. I'm going to do the same step with this green one right here and this will just ensure that we are actually picking a color which is going to accurately represent the uh, basically the button right here uh, or, or product, sorry, my bad. So we have now added this. As for the color tool, um, I'm just going to add the same one. <coughs> so I'm just going to add something like this. We can then actually also upload a file, but I'm not really going to do that. And we can then actually also select the image URL. So actually let's just leave out these three parts right here and let's just click on save for now. And let's see if this is going to work. So it's now successfully saved. We can then actually see that on this app, when we are going to head back, so I'm going to refresh this, on this, we're then going to also see the button, okay? We can actually then see if this should be a swatch or if this should be pill swatches, automated and button or as well, okay? So this is going to be for the size. Now, in this case, as we are going to sell a product which is both going to have the color as well as the size available, we would want to set this up so that the size, obviously, is just going to be a normal button. Now, in this case, the color already have updated, but this doesn't accurately show the color right now. We will have to set this up later on. But now, as for the actual size, in this case, I would recommend you to just use a button for this. Of course, this is going to come down to your own likings. You can, for example, also use the pill button, um, which is then going to look something like this. Okay, let's actually save this. And I think I'm going to... Yeah, maybe I'm going to go with this one. And as you can see, now that this has been saved, we actually can see the colors right here. However, we aren't done yet. Please make sure to watch till the end. So right here, we can see the colors. We can view this and we can then actually also see the size with the pill chart. Perfect. But let's now actually open up our customization options and let's then actually change this to our, um, to our product right here to the sweater. So what we can now see is that on the right, the, uh, the color has been changed. However, if we would now want to actually uh, change the overview of this, we would have to, this is really important, we would have to actually change the variant picker and we would have to change the styling inside here. So we could, for example, also select drop down. And then in this case, this isn't going to show up. So make sure to keep that in, mi in mind. You can then also change the swatch type. So in this case, this could also be square and this could be none. And depending on, you, on, you, and on what you put in right here, this is then also going to be slightly customized. So that's basically it for today's tutorial. If you found this video helpful, please make sure to like and subscribe. If you have any questions, make sure to leave them down below. And if you haven't signed up to Shopify yet, make sure to do so with my link down below. I will see you in the next one.